So here's the situation. Free range poultry sounds like a cool idea, and pastured poultry is a good idea, but free range is definitely stuff that doesn't work. Anyone who has kept chickens for more than about 10 minutes can tell you that. When allowed to roam at will, chickens will get into everything they shouldn't. They will roost and drop chicken manure on your car, in your barn, on your porch. They'll tear up the garden, leave eggs rotting in places you don't want to contemplate, and get in the road and get hit by cars. And then there's predators. Chicken is on the menu of every predator that walks, flies, or slithers, and I wouldn't be too confident about swims if they get too close to water. We don't have gators around here, but we do have snapping turtles. Oh, and as an aside, I've heard people debate about whether hawks will kill chickens. The answer is definitely yes. This guy was actually inside our hen house eating a hen. Okay, maybe he was just minding his own business, sharing a roost with the other birds, and then one fell over and he figured, why waste all that fresh meat? Yeah, well... But, when confined, chickens will very quickly destroy every living thing within reach. So, I thought I'd build a chicken tractor. A portable coop with no bottom in it, which would sit right on the ground. It would keep the chickens in, and the predators out, and allow me to move them around to spread the fertilizer and so they wouldn't kill the grass. This is definitely in the category of didn't work. So many things went wrong with this that it's hard to know where to start. I guess I'll begin with a few minor design and construction issues, some of which I resolved and some of which I never bothered to fix. I initially built it with the wheels at the back, as in this illustration, sort of like a big two-wheeled wheelbarrow, but I only eyeballed the angles. Turned out the handle I put on the front had to be lifted about three feet for the back to clear properly which was a little awkward, but worked fine on the flat barn floor where I built it, but became incredibly awkward to manage and steer once on softer, more uneven ground. So I moved the wheels to the middle, but then they had to have a way to extend and retract. I went through several iterations and settled on this. It actually works for the most part, but I made a mistake in not allowing for the much greater side loadings, especially when moving across uneven ground where one wheel could get downhill from another. Those uprights were originally just intended to be a stapling point for chicken wire. One side bent, the other side actually broke. Another mistake I made. Don't take Harbor Freight's weight ratings literally. In theory, this wheel was way sturdier than needed, but you can see how that worked out. I should have known better. It broke at the lousy welds around the hub. Here's another design flaw. Turns out that chicken wire will keep chickens in, but it's not very good for keeping predators out. In this case, they just broke out the staples, but in another case, they actually tore the chicken wire like it was paper. I'm guessing that was raccoons. They're very strong, but it could have been a coyote. And some of what you're seeing here is just from it sitting for years after I gave up on it, but it would have been better to have much more rot-resistant wood. The bottom sill is redwood, and it held up well, but other parts, not so much. On the whole, though, those are minor points. All could have been corrected. The biggest problems came from the idea of having the bottom open. When I imagined that, I realize now, I mentally modeled the ground as being flat. And of course, when I built it on the barn floor, that was more or less true. But it is definitely not true out in the real out of doors. Unless it's a putting green, even a bit of grass that seems flat has a lot of ripples and bumps in it. Heck, from what I've seen putting a golf ball, even putting greens aren't really flat. And that means there are gaps under the edges of the coop, and on really uneven ground, those gaps are quite large easily large enough for predators to get in and chickens to get out. Also, with no brakes and that awkward high handle, it was a real handful on any kind of slope, and that's the only kind of ground I have. And then, there's the fact that you can't keep the chickens inside it when it's moving. As soon as I folded down the wheels, the chickens went everywhere. Now chickens will go back to a coop at night, so I thought for a while I could just let them roam in the day and then they'd go back in at night. 
what I learned from that is that chickens, or at least my chickens, don't go back to the coop. They go back to the place they were the night before. I'd find them all huddled in a heap where the chicken tractor had been before I moved it, a kind of a banquet spread for whatever was hungry for chicken dinner that night. So if I can salvage enough of it, I think I'm going to tidy up the edges, take the wheels off, and convert it into a small stationary coop for a couple of hens. That's a project for another day. So there it is. For a bunch of reasons, this is definitely stuff that didn't work.